Hi guys, Girl vs. Dumb here. I'm going to talk to you today about setting up Stream Elements. Stream Elements, if you don't know, is an all-in-one solution for streamers and gamers alike. It's used to help monetize your content better and grow your audience faster. They have everything from a Stream Elements chatbot to beautiful animated overlays, tipping services, and even advertising options. Viewer loyalty tools are also really important for Stream Elements. You can use song requests, a point system, and even a stream store. So let's get it set up. We're going to start over by going to streamelements.com and this will land you on the dashboard. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is activate the chat bot. So let's click on activate now. Now you're going to want to copy this over by doing mod stream elements in your channel's Twitch chat or if you'd like you can also click this button here. Neato. Also if you'd like to mess with it later you can also go to this bot. Similarly, if you want to do the tipping page later, which I'm about to show you, it can go over here and change your settings. So let's start by setting up our tipping page. We're going to do test email at gmail.com, which for you, you put your email there. Click enter, and that'll set up your tipping page. And lastly, you're going to want to do your first overlay, which is going to be a video on later. And you can also edit in the overlay manager as well. But let's start by creating an overlay. For me, I'll put my game as Dark Souls doesn't really matter. It's just there for you if you want to organize your overlays. For me, I'll also call this test overlay for organizational purposes. But the really important part is that you want to have the overlay resolution set up right. So that's going to be at 1080p here for me. I'm going to click submit. And lastly, you're going to want to also click launch overlay. All right, now you're going to want to take this overlay link that you got and copy and paste it and we're going to put it in OBS. Okay, now if you're on Studio, you're going to want to click this plus button, go to Browser Source, type in New Test Overlay, which we'll put in our overlay we just copied, paste that link. You're going to want to put in the correct resolution, which for me was 1080. Change it to 60 frames per second. You can also delete this code here. It's not needed. Then click Shut Down Source When Not Visible so it doesn't echo, and then you're all set. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Good luck with your stream. Have a great one.